comments. In this video, I will be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the possession of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Buckle in, because it's going to be a bumpy ride on this one. First comment comes from member quadruple A, and they say, wow. These colons used in this world map, to me, is the first ever evidence I whitenessed colons were used a long time ago. This is spectacular to me. But now, who knows the closure on the cologne usage in this construct? It's interesting that you ask that, quadruple A, being that you've been on this channel for how long now? couple years knowing that I have about 900 videos here been doing this since February of 2018 I released a video giving full closure on the full colon four or five years ago which I gave Kuliana to your comment and I sent that link to that video if you're asking the question who knows the closure on the cologne usage in this construct? One answer is I do. And I've shared that. Years ago I shared it. And I shared it now with you. I do give a very, with my humble perception, comprehensive and clear closure on that colon. And then I go on to say it looks to me like the same starts the name starts with an abbreviation for the Latin version of the word author, and then followed by the name colon space Henry space colon space Hondio. Even so, in that context of what you're saying there, quadruple A, if it does say author, there is still no full colon in front of the word author, which is not correct sentence structure. So the way they're using the colons in that name and in that uh, line of text in that particular scenario is clearly not correct sentence structure. Although it's something, you know, of course, symbols mean something. It's just that I personally am not privy to what it means. And from my closure on correct sentence structure, I can definitely 100% say it is not correct sentence structure. But you're right. For me, it is the earliest... Uh, for me, the earliest sighting of something that kind of looks like a punctuated name, but isn't correct sentence structure. So, I mean, people have been using hyphens in their names for hundreds of years. Just not full colons. We don't really see full colons all that often in names. I mean, older names. So, thank you for the membership and for the comment. Next comment comes from Pi314, and I addressed this in another video, in the checks and balances video. Uh, but they say, they got to ya. Eh. What a shame. Pathetic. <laughs> and then uh, I syntax their sentence, which they are writing an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. And then I said, I've come to the conclusion that your level of assumption presumption far outweighs any focused will to learn correct sentence structure, best wishes. And what I mean by that, folks, briefly, is that this individual has been in contact, me, contact with me 
uh, off and on for the for years now and they always come all like in a flurry of activity and bluster and uh, enthusiasm saying they're ready to learn the grammar and then they never do they never follow up they stop contacting me uh, there's always something that happens that they see that all of a sudden changes their minds about wanting to learn like they're all enthusiastic about it and then they see something that changes their mind like for this example this right here whatever the hell this individual means by that i have no idea but this this probably changed their mind now now they don't want to pursue workshops so it appears to me i'm teaching this for six years i know when someone's motivated to learn this i can tell and this individual has never been motivated to learn it by my perception as a tutor who has taught hundreds of people i can tell this individual's enthusiasm runs like hot and cold let's put it that way like a, a man who is an automaton will be like a pinball and so that's what this guy reminds me of a pinball that is going in one direction yeah yeah i want to learn the grammar and then all of a sudden something outside them affects them and then boom they go in a different direction like oh nope nope not today <laughs> sort of like that you know it's uh when outside influences control your decisions you become a what they call a reaction machine and you're constantly reacting to things rather than being a master and commander of your vessel and sailing on a straight course. So that's why I said what I said here. And, you know, I do mean best wishes to them, whatever they're going to do. Uh, doesn't matter what they're going to do. I, I wish them well on it. I just really don't think that uh, learning correct sentence structure is the attention span just isn't there uh, at this point. That's how I feel anyways. Next comment comes from Kelly McCloyd, and they say, I have only recently discovered yourself and David. This is all new to me, but extremely fascinating. I didn't go to school much, but I love language. Have known for a long time. We have all been duped, lied to, and deliberately dumbed down. This is good work. I'm going through your early stuff to get myself correct with this grammar. Thank you for all your hard work. Lots to go through. Yes, indeed. About 900 videos. So welcome and uh, enjoy your journey. And if you ever decide to get serious about learning the grammar, like you really, really want to learn it, I do provide classes. And you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a correct grammar workshop. Please include your full correct name. Thank you very much. Mark Lee Civic Duty says, Did you know there is no such thing as a rock? I guarantee it. Left field, right field, all positions need to be played. And then I said, did you know there's no such thing as left or right? Now I'm just being cheeky here, folks. I know where this individual is going with this. Do you know there's no such thing as a rock? He guarantees it. How can you guarantee there's a such thing as a, as a rock? That there's not a such thing as a rock? If Mark Lee Civic Duty is walking down the street and someone picks up a stone or a rock or what he says there's no such thing as and whacks him in the head with it what's he gonna say how dare you hit me in the head with a not rock how dare you hit me in the head with a and then whatever he thinks a rock is yes we can say that when you look at it uh anything like a pen or anything it's a collection of what molecules i suppose and the harder or denser the harder uh an object is the denser the molecules are and the more softer pliant something is the less molecules they are or so the less dense it is i mean how far do you want to go with this i'm a big uh, fan of practicality and so i don't uh well i don't participate with anything as a fact unless there's a continuance of the evidence for it. And so, of course, they don't provide any continuance of the evidence. Uh, left field, right field, all positions need to be played. From my experience, that is not true. You just have to be aware of 
what's going on on the field. That's all. I only worry about my position. I'm not worried about left or right positions. I'm worried about my position, actually. Actually, I'm not even worried about it. If anything, other people have to be worried about my position because I'm not worried about their position. I'm just concerned with moving forward and doing what I have to do. And if anything comes from left or right, above or below, I'm ready for it. And then they say, I'm here. Very interesting. I dig up dragons. Have a huge one in my property with on my property with wings. So the legend and myths are true. And then I said, I know. I've watched games, Game of Thrones too. <laughs> Which, by the way, House of the Dragons coming on pretty quick here. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about things like this. How, how would you prove something like that? I mean, I know people have a standard practice of just going on the internet and just making claims that they can't back up. They can't possibly certify unless you're right there with them or unless they have videos and photos and witness testimony and things like that. So, I mean, cool. He dug, he dig, he digs up dragons. Next comment comes from Lee Redford and they say Romley myself and many others have been aware of David Wynn Miller for 20 years. Do you think you're onto something new? I think they mean Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. People make that mistake all the time. It really bugs me. You know, people that like Romley Stewart and his people of his ilk make such a big deal about grammar, but they can't spell for shit. And their syntax is twisted. So, um, what we all also know is that no effing first world court accepts syntax. Accepts. What is that? I bet they don't accept your plain English babble either with spelling like that. It's not E-X-C-E-P-T-S. It's A-C-C-E-P-T. Free grammar lesson for you. If you knew anything, even a smidgen of knowledge about correct sentence structure, you would know that a court doesn't accept correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And the reason is, Anyone who has closure on correct sentence structure and uses it going into a foreign vessel and dry dock as a peaceful and neutral vessel with the balance of honor and grace and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, they're not coming in under the authority of any court because they are the court. Do you understand? Well, no, you can't possibly understand because you asked, because you said that. What we all also know is that no effing first world court accepts syntax. No, they don't. Because they will not participate with rule one, rule equal, correct grammar. They will not be held accountable. They will not step up onto the geometric level playing field. That is why correct sentence structure is so powerful and so successful when used by people who have closure on it, of which you are not one. I don't care if you've known about it for 20 years. You have the knowledge of someone who studied it zero years. <laughs> Not only do you show your ignorance of how to spell simple words, but you also, also show your ignorance by the language that you're using here on my channel, which the terms and conditions ask that you do not use curse words, rude language or anything like that. But of course, here we go. These know-it-all common lawyers come on here and they're always so rude. Always so rude. But you would never have been inside a courtroom, so you basically know Jack S-H-I-T. I would have never been inside a courtroom. That is hilarious. I can't count the times I've been inside a courtroom. Not to mention the dozens and dozens and dozens of document, contract, postal, court, vessel venues I have been a part of. And see, the thing is, is I take care of these cases 
through my federal postal court, which means I don't have to normally walk into a foreign vessel and dry dock. There's no need to. I'm not going to subordinate myself to a fiction entity. That's how you get your jollies is to subordinate yourself to a fiction court. If that makes you feel great to have a fiction court uh, accept you, that's on you if you want to subordinate yourself to that. But I myself and about a dozen or so students that have closure on the grammar, that's not something that we want to do. We prefer to be autonomous. That's why we have invested in taking the time to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, so that we don't have to subordinate ourselves to the fiction system as you and Romley and the rest of your ilk do. So actually that last line there, so you basically know Jack S-H-I-T, I don't know anybody by that name. So starts with an assumption, ends with an assumption. You may have been aware of David Wynn Miller. <laughs> and maybe you know jack shit about the language. Looks like you do. So the next series of comments I'm going to take off of uh, TikTok. And this is to show you how typical this type of individual is. This is one example of someone who, and, and these people always have these... Uh, commonalities amongst them. Number one, they don't know the grammar, have no idea how to use the grammar. Number two, they've come under the spell or the propaganda of Russell J. Gould and Russell J. Gould's team. And three, they just regurgitate everything they hear Russell say or Russell's minions say. They don't, they can't form an original thought and they're also invested in, in the Russell J. Gould's construct because they've paid money for Russell's scam claim of the live life. So they say, Russell J. Gould would never use cursive. That translates to necromancy. The dead cannot be on contract. He uses an autograph. So look at how confident Robin Hood seems when he's saying these things. He's, or, or her. He, he or her are saying these things. They seem pretty confident about what they're saying. That means martial hyphen law. Martial. M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L. -L. Really. I have never heard of martial law. I've heard of M-A-R-T-I-A-L law, but not M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L -L hyphen law. He took their right to operate away from them. The birth certificate system ended in 1999 when he captured the Title IV flag. Again, they seem pretty confident about what they're saying. In 2004, the country violated the terms of the contract with Russell in 2004. Those yellow tassels and spear that sits on top of the state flag since 2004. <sighs> Russell J. Gould captured the post office. That makes him the postmaster general. <laughs> When you're under bankruptcy, you don't own the contract to anything. He also caught the post office in a bankruptcy. <laughs> he caught them in a bankruptcy? Is that like... Uh, <laughs> is that like catching someone shoplifting? Or, or something like that? Russell J. Gold captured Title IV flag in 1999. It came out of our third and final bankruptcy. Bro. I've never been bankrupt, never been in bankruptcy, so I don't know what you're talking about, an hour. Are you talking about you and the voices in your head, or you got a mouse in your pocket, or what? So I began to respond back to them in a very first sort of abrasive manner, and then I lightened my tone when I found that they were sort of open-minded. Like, for example, when, when he said, talked about the Russell J. Gould would never use cursive. And then I showed him the evidence that Russell signed over a bullet stamp using a cursive signature. Guy didn't know what to say then. He says, I never saw this document. I've searched all over and I can't find anything on Russell J. Gould other than the court cases that have been thrown out. I am very new to grammar. 
instead of putting people down, why don't you teach people proper synthetic grammar? I would really like to learn the synthetic grammar. I mean, if you want to learn synthetic grammar, you're not going to learn it here. I teach correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar. And I don't, I'm not putting anybody down. Not at all. I just got TikTok last week. You popped up in my feed. That's how I found you. I'll take a look at your videos. Thank you. That's a typo. Haha, ha, my phone changed it to that. Always oh, talking about the synthetic thing. I'm not quite sure, but Louis DeJoy is acting illegally. He is not the Postmaster General. If Russell J. Gould did everything he says, then he is the Postmaster General. Again, he's hanging on to what he heard someone say, and he's regurgitating. And uh, But at least he's open to learning something. Like, how can Louis DeJoy act illegal? The fiction system is the legal system, Robin Hood. Correct sentence structure has nothing to do with legalities. Legal is fiction. I found Russell J. Gould two years ago. I have a claim of the life. I'm new to syntax grammar. I was never taught it in school. Obviously, no one was taught it in school that I know of. So you found Russell J. Gould two years ago, but you're new to the grammar. So the grammar has never been your priority, which explains why you swallow everything Russell says hook, line, and sinker. Because you don't know the grammar. If you knew the grammar, then all of a sudden you would start to question the guy and his claims. I didn't know where to look for syntax grammar training. It's not something Russell J. Gould's team teaches. I want to learn it, though. That's the first thing I agree with from Robin Hood. Russell J. Gould's team, i.e. the Syntax Learning Center and all those people over there, don't teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. Robin Hood, you're exactly right. Why do you think they don't teach it? One possible reason could be that if they would actually teach the grammar, the correct grammar, then people would see through the BS of these claims and start thinking for themselves and then they don't need Russell J. Gould anymore. They don't need the Syntax Learning Center anymore. Then they don't make any money. Then they don't have any control or power. Then what? Be terrible if everybody could think for themselves and be autonomous, wouldn't it? I will take a look at your videos, my reading and compression it's pretty good. I think they mean comprehension. I really want to believe Russell J. Gould did everything he says he did. Well, you know what, Robin Hood? I can empathize with you because I felt the same way many, many years ago. Back in 2018, 2019. Actually, 2019. Uh, I really started questioning things. End of 2018, 2019. Right after David's death. I really wanted to believe all that stuff too. Unfortunately, what we want to believe and what is actually true are usually two different things. You are correct, though that document you posted is not correct. He was not supposed to use cursive. There's also another mistake on it that I found. Well, I mean, Robin Hood, it's not up to, up to us to say what he was supposed to use or not use. That's a trespass. We can't tell someone else what they're supposed to do. One may only make claims for themselves. The reason why I showed that document is to show the contradictions and discrepancies in what Russell says and what actually is contained in evidence. It's two different things. If I have an issue learning the correct syntax grammar, I'll email you. Thank you. Um, okay. Syntax, of course, T-A-X at the end there. And then they start talking about the claim of the life. They say, uh, my claim of the life has both my parents' name on it, plus my picture and my fingerprint in three places, plus Russell J. Gould, so would that be not be three witnesses? No, it would not be. No, it would not be. Number one, unless Russell J. Gould did a video consultation with you, unless Russell J. Gould actually witnessed you, saw you, 
spoke with you and verified that you are who you are, he can't be a witness. He's not a witness on your claim because he didn't witness you. Your mother and father, are they live life claimants? If your mother and father have live life claims, then they would be credentialed on your live life claim as live life claim witnesses. And yes, they could count as two witnesses, but I doubt they are. So the answer is no. And then he says, my finger, he or she says, my fingerprints and picture and pick gives proof of life. No. Uh, in this context, no, because a fingerprint and a picture can also give proof of death. So that's irrelevant. To be honest, I haven't really tried to look into syntax grammar because no one really uses it. So I haven't cared about it. So now they backpedal and they say the reason they haven't learned it in the two years since they discovered Russell J. Gould is because no one really uses it and they don't care about it. So if they don't care about it, folks, then why did they care enough to leave all these comments and all those comments? That's a rhetorical question. Catch you next time. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the Join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching. Click the Join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the Loyalist Contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content exclusive content not available to the public every month but keep in mind there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study and the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and this is for the serious students only and apply for a correct grammar workshop but please include your correct name when contacting me and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation and you and I will have a conversation you can ask me whatever you want I'll answer your questions, I'll do the same with you, I'll ask you questions, and we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.